Hello, welcome to Movie Night Movie Review. Vincent's pick tonight is Martin's Day. I'm a big fan of Richard Harris. Over the years, grew up watching him and uh, just happened to come across this movie. Uh, it was quite a long time ago, probably 30 years ago I saw this movie. But uh, it's called Martin's Day and uh, I never forgot it. It's, it's a really cool little quiet little movie, the kind of movies I like. The movie has a uh, sad, sort of touching story that kind of stuck with me over the years, and uh, I never really forgot it. Now, it's not available that I can see anywhere on DVD, and it's, I don't doubt if you'll be able to download it off your TV right now. You might be able to find it on uh, YouTube somewhere. Now, uh, the poster for it, which I've never seen before till now, but the poster is really just sappy, kind of 1980s silliness that you probably would have saw in a lot of movies back then. They did have this alternate one, though, but I suppose this one looked a little bit creepy and violent, so maybe they went with the more fun-looking poster. I have no idea. Now the movie follows uh, Richard Harris's character Martin who has uh, been in jail for quite a while and it looks like he's afraid he might end up dying there I, I think and uh, you know it's been a tough tough life for him and uh, he's starting to uh, I believe they call it uh, gather wool <laughs> and he's starting to remember his olden days as a child and how much fun he had and he remembered a special place he used to spend with his father, I believe it was, at a lake. And it's a very fuzzy memory kind of imagery we get about the lake and the uh, fun he had there. It's one of those simple little childhood kind of memories that we all have that uh, I felt I could relate to. So that's, that's what struck me about the movie. The images of his childhood at the lake are filmed very beautifully, um, just like your memory would be of somewhere of a happier time you might have had, and very fuzzy memory looking. And he, he happened to have this uh, thing where he would flip a boat over the top of him while he was in the lake, and it was just a wonderful little world that he would create all to himself underneath that boat. It looked like real fun. Lindsay Wagner stars in this as well, and she plays the prison uh, psychiatrist who's been helping uh, Martin. And he often ex expresses his memories of his childhood and the fun he had at this lake. So this is really uh, pretty heavy on his mind. So as one would predict, he actually escapes from this uh, prison, and not only does he escape, he... Uh, kidnaps a little kid and uh but they but it's all kind of innocent and they actually become fast friends and sort of adventure around the countryside together and of course you know where he's headed he's trying to go back to that that old lake of his where he had those wonderful childhood memories and of course he tells the boy about this too that it's such a wonderful place and that uh you know he can't wait to see it and he can't wait for the boy to see it and experience it too. And uh, everything will be wonderful if, if just one last time he can go find his precious lake. Now, of course, the authorities are hot on his trail and they kind of know where he's headed. It's not that hard to figure out. And uh, so he heads to his lake and things don't quite go the way he thought. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. But this is a pretty good movie. It stuck with me for many years. It's a really good popcorn cruncher, if nothing else. And uh, you may feel the same way about it, too. It's a very simple story, and it's likable. It's, it's charming. Thank you.